I can't. <laughs> What, what's your worries about it, if you have any? No worries, but I think I'm certain it's going to work mm -hmm. and something is going to crack on my mind, so... Yeah, you'll be right. That's how, that's how hypnosis works. Mm -hmm. that's cool. So this, this is the best way to start hypnosis, get someone comfortable. <laughs> you said the reason, so you have stopped smoking twice or three times? Three times, but this last time was just for one month or two months. Okay. And then before it was a few years? Yes. Okay. So what that tells me is the book itself that stopped you smoking basically said, don't smoke. Your beliefs agreed with that and said, okay. Whereas when you go back to smoking, you're covering up something. Mm -hmm. Let's say we're stressed out about something. We're stressed because of whatever's happening in our life. Therefore, we go to smoking to soothe our stress. Does that make sense? I think I know what I'm supplying with the cigarettes because there is a very clear uh, pattern. I don't know how they say pattern. it. Pattern. 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 Um, when I'm in a relationship mm -hmm. and I'm like everything is going well and calm, then I stop smoking. Right. When I break up, Mm -hmm. I start smoking again. Uh, okay. And like this, I did it all the time. Now, okay, so it's I'm a pattern. In, yeah. Now I'm not, I'm not in a relationship and it's the first time I want to stop smoking just being like right. single. Okay, perfect. But all the times, the three last times was like this. Okay, perfect. And so they were dependent relationships. Okay. Emotional de okay. dependence. So what that tells me <laughs> is there's something inside that craves the smoking to give you something. Do you remember on the retreat when G was talking about um, the same system in the body that craves food is the same system that craves... What is craves? Sorry. Um, wants. Ah, wants, okay. Yeah, desires. Okay. Like, not just like, oh, I want that. It's like, I need that. Oh, yeah, okay. The same thing that craves food is the same thing that craves human connection. Mm -hmm. So that's why people sometimes emotionally eat. They eat because they really want social connection, human connection. Mm -hmm. So the same thing with smoking. Being in a relationship can give you something. It can give you a feeling. It can give you security, safety, something like that. Mm -hmm. And this isn't, this isn't necessarily true. It's what we believe to be true. Because let's face it, some relationships can give us good feelings. Some can give us bad feelings. Mm -hmm. Is the relationship the, what's giving us that? Or is it our perception on the relationship? Make sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. By the way, for anyone watching this, no Noelia, Noelia or Novelia? No Noelia. Noelia uh, is Spanish, so this is proof that hypnosis doesn't, like, even though you, your first language isn't English, she can still understand. And I'm going to say, if there's something you don't understand, just raise your left hand like that. Okay. Yeah? So if there's something you don't understand, and... Yeah, do that. And then obviously if you understand something, just nod your head and, and stuff like that. I'll, we'll go through that. Okay. Okay, so there's patterns that have gone on because of something you were feeling that you didn't have, so you replaced it with something else. Mm -hmm. So what a lot of people tend to do is they say, I want to stop smoking. They stop smoking and they replace it with something else. Some people eat more. Sugar. Sugar, exactly, because it's an immediate dopamine hit. Mm -hmm. Like smoking. <sighs> now, what's the real thing that reduces the stress when you smoke? Do you know what it is? Nicotine, the drug. It's actually the breath. The breath. Whenever we smoke a cigarette, we're mm -hmm. breathing deeply again, aren't we? When we're not smoking, we're I need a cigarette, I need a cigarette, and we start to tense up, and then when we smoke, it's... And then the nicotine is what makes it addictive. Okay, cool. So, you've never been hypnotized before, and all you can expect is just to feel relaxed. Okay. Um, as I said, your head may tip forward, uh, you, may, you may go backwards, there's no right way of doing hypnosis, it's whatever feels right for you, okay? So, keep your hands like that. Mm -hmm. Get yourself nice and comfortable. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out and let go. There you go. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out and let go. 
There you go, perfect. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out and let go. And Aurelio, I just want you to open your eyes for a moment and just stare at that, that black thing on the ring light. There you go. Keep completely focused on that. And as you breathe in deeply, you'll notice yourself relaxing just by focusing as your eyelids begin to blink. There you go. And the more they blink down, the more you can feel yourself relaxing just by breathing. Just as if your mind is so focused and so relaxed. So focused and so relaxed. Now, there you go. There you go. And you may even hear the ticking of the fans. Tick, 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 tick. And that can help you completely relax. Now, there you go. Just notice what happened in your body to relax even more. There you go, perfect. Any twitches? It's just the body completely relaxed now. There you go. Maybe the most relaxed you have ever been, Noelia. Because as you relax, you can let go. Drift down into hypnosis. Just like when you go to sleep at night, you don't try to sleep, you just fall asleep. There you go. Perfectly relaxed. Perfectly relaxed. Any outside noises can help you relax even more. Drifting deeper into hypnosis. Because as you go into hypnosis, Noelia, your body becomes the most relaxed it's ever been. And I want you to notice which hand feels lighter, as if it's got no weight to it. There you go. And notice what happens to your left hand as it feels lighter. It begins to lift off your leg, lifting up slowly, doesn't it? There you go. There you go. There you go. Noticing what happens as it lifts higher, slowly. There you go. Because you don't have to try to move that hand as your subconscious mind is moving it for you, Noelia. There you go. Notice what thoughts are coming to your mind 
around relationships and smoking as that hand begins to move closer towards your face, slowly moving closer, poquito, poquito. There you go. Notice the thoughts that connect relationships and smoking. ¿Qué es conexión? There you go. Slowly moving closer to your face. Hace perfecto. Exactamente. There you go. And as you notice your hand moving closer to your face, it will eventually touch your cheek. There you go. Perfecto. And now notice the hand that's touching your cheek. Your right hand is completely stuck to your leg, feeling very heavy. One hand, your left, feels light. and your right feels very heavy. And you can notice, Noelia, that you can even stay in this state of hypnosis and you can open your eyes now. There you go. What's coming up for you? What's in your mind right now? I'm not touching my cheek. You're not touching your cheek. Someone else is touching my cheek. Someone else is touching your cheek. Is that what it feels like? Yeah. Perfect. So what is the connection? ¿Qué es conexión? With relationships, con relationships y smoking. single I think something's missing okay so when you're in a relationship you feel complete and when you're single you feel as if something is missing yeah. what do you feel when you smoke a cigarette mm. I feel guilty now because I know it's not good for me. There you go. I want you to feel more guilt whenever you go towards smoking cigarettes as well. Because it's not good for you, is it? Mm -hmm. Are there any benefits of smoking? No. So what's pushing you to smoke? being so confident and not having so much self-esteem. And smoking gives you what? Does it give you confidence and self-esteem? No. 
So what's the connection between confidence, self-esteem, and smoking? There's no connection. There's no connection. I just use it to punish myself. You what? Use it to punish myself. Okay. You used to? Mm-hmm. I use it. Oh, you use it to punish yourself. Mm-hmm. Why are you punishing yourself, Noelia? Because I feel bad. For? Different things. Different things. And anything you don't want to be on video, we can cut out. If you want to say it, if you want me to cut it out, we can cut it out. Okay. Is there anything that comes to mind? I don't know. You're perfectly mm. safe. There are different moments. Is there a moment that comes to mind? Mm-hmm. What's happening in that moment? Second time I I quit smoking and I came back. Mm-hmm. I I was in a relationship and I came to Mexico mm-hmm. and I realized I wasn't it wasn't me anymore. You and wasn't you anymore. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I came here and I discovered myself again and I felt so free. Mm -hmm. And uh, I met someone who smokes. I fell in love with him and I started smoking again. Okay. So you associate the feeling of love to a cigarette. There you go, letting that go. Notice what happens to your hand as you let go. There you go. Perfecto. And as this happens, I want you to image a cigarette and attach it to a feeling of heartbreak instead of love. Can you repeat that? Associating a cigarette to a feeling of a broken heart instead of love. Does that make sense? It's the same. What do you mean it's the same? Smoking and a breakup. See? It's the same for doing ahora? Mm hmm. It hurts and it's not good for you. So, why do you want to keep smoking? I don't want to. What's stopping you from stopping smoking now? There you go. What's getting in your way? Fear of not being able to do it and suffering and then come back again. Would you say that fear of not doing it and not stopping, which one's worse? Mm, not stopping. There you go. Of course there's a fear that in a week's time you may want to smoke again. But how do you know that you won't smoke again? Because I love myself. Because you love yourself. Because you love yourself, Noelia. There you go. There you 
go. Those twitches are the body remembering how much you love yourself, Noelia. Thoughts are coming to your mind right now. That before the session, I was thinking I like to improve my confidence and my self-esteem. There you go. But I thought there is nothing. It's not related to the cigarettes. It's totally related, isn't it? Because smoking a cigarette is. Facile option. It's an easy way out. But working on your self esteem and confidence will last forever. And it's healthy for you. Smoking is not, is it? There you go. So now all you need to do is work on your confidence and self-esteem. Is there something that comes to your mind, a memory or a time when you didn't feel confident? Mm -hmm. You don't have to tell me, but just yes or no. Yes. Perfect. And I want you to put yourself into that situation again. And imagine that this situation, this memory, goes exactly how you want it to happen. Change the memory to get the outcome that you want, Noelia. There you go. Perfecto. Just notice, there you go, there you go. Because we can't change the past, but we can change how we feel about the past. And sometimes, when I say change what happened, it may just be how you feel about what happened. Because we can't always change it perfectly. There you go. Because you can learn to be confident, just like you learn to speak English, just like you're aprendiendo español. For me, es difícil, primero, pero es mejorando poquito a poquito. 
and the way I said it maybe wasn't correct, but it's improving. Just like you're improving your confidence, your high self-esteem, so that when you look in a mirror, you feel so much love for yourself, Noelia. So much love. There you go. And that love that you feel for yourself, can you spread that around your body? Feeling love in your shoulders, your arms, your hands, your body, legs, feet, and your head. There you go. Your body wanting to yawn is perfectly normal. It's letting go of the old self, the old persona. There you go. Perfecto. What comes to mind when you think of a cigarette now? Something bad I don't want to do. Something bad and you don't want to do it. And how do you know that you won't smoke again? Because I love myself. Because you love yourself. And every time you look at a cigarette, you smell the smoke of a disgusting cigarette. Instead of wanting a cigarette, there you go. You just want fresh air. just want fresh air. There you go, letting go of the old persona. Because whenever You see, smell, or taste smoke from a cigarette. You can immediately, there you go, change your approach and want just fresh, clean, healthy oxygen. Doing absolutely perfect. There you go. So relaxed. And the best way to learn confidence and to improve self-esteem is first finding information understanding yourself and putting it into action doing it every day and just because you practice confidence it doesn't mean every time is perfecto Sometimes 
es no perfecto, pero está bien. That is okay. Because you do not want, there you go, to smoke a cigarette. The thought disgusts you, doesn't it? There you go. And I want you to notice, Noelia, what is coming up in your mind now. I don't want to need it anymore. You don't what? I don't want to be dependent on it anymore. There you go. I need too much. Just like you don't want to be dependent on a relationship, mm -hmm. you will never be dependent on cigarettes again. There you go. You are independent. There you go. You are perfectly safe. Perfectly safe. You're making me yawn now. There you go. Just check to see if the body accepts that you do not ever want to smoke again. Did it accept it? I'm just going to check. So just sit there and just allow yourself to do whatever feels natural. There you go. There you go. Last time. There you go. Perfecto. Perfecto. Because as your head lifts up, it's as if you can feel that confidence. There you go. And I want you to remember a time when you felt the most confident. Completely confident in yourself. And when you think of this time, it can bring you to this level of confidence now. Completely confident now. There you go. Imagining your life with this much confidence. There you go. Perfecto. And 
And when you feel and you know that you are finished, tu eres terminar, let your eyes open and come back round. Take as long as you need. Your eyes will open when you are ready. There you go, nearly there. There you go. So close. so difficult to come back. <laughs> it's nice to stand in there, isn't it? It's nice to be in hypnosis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How'd you feel? Really? See? See? Amazing. What do you need to do? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know? Stretch. No, what do you need to do? Ah. Trust in myself. Mm -hmm. And work on your confidence mm -hmm. and self esteem. Mm -hmm. Because that's what smoking was covering. We don't like the taste of smoke. We do it to fit in, to hide something, to cover something. And if it's covering something, Literally, the cloud of smoke is covering our self-esteem and confidence. I know, I used to smoke as well, so I used to do the same. It made me feel as if I fit in with everyone. It got me away from the big crowd. So there was reasons, and, and I could rationalise it in my mind, but it was just an excuse, because there was something missing. And you know what's missing, now you just need to work on it, right? Mm -hmm. How'd you feel? <laughs> Good. Yeah? Yeah. Feel as if you're stuck? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible how to... I saw this circle inside my... Yeah? Mind. What, what, that? That. Yeah? From the beginning. Yeah? Even if I close my eyes, I saw the... Ah, it's perfect. It's perfect that it's there. That was totally by accident, <laughs> but if it works... Really? Yeah, I didn't even mean to put that there. Is it for the video? Yeah, the just, light? just for lighting. That is all it's there for. Really? Yeah. I thought it was for the hypnosis. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, that? No, no, that. The light. Oh, I, saw I it. thought it was the, the tick. Also the tick. Yeah. Yes. This, this house is perfect for hypnosis, <laughs> completely by accident. It's just things that don't work perfectly. That's, I just say trust everything is perfect. Yeah, That's what no, it is. but really. Yeah? Yeah. What would you say to someone who wants to stop smoking, who wants to try hypnosis, if they've never tried hypnosis before like you, because this is your first time? Uh-huh. See, what would you say? I would say just do it. Don't yeah. think about it. Yeah. yeah. And what comes to your mind if you think about a cigarette right now? Just disgusting and a way to destroy myself. 
literally killing yourself. Yeah. And what comes to mind when you think about your level of confidence that you can <laughs> have one day? I think it's just, I can do whatever I want if I practice. There you go. If I practice in any area, I can be confident in something if, I, mm. if I'm prepared for that. Are you confident that you can speak Spanish? Yes. Why? <laughs> because I was practicing on my life. Are you confident you can speak English? Not so confident as Spanish, but yes. But you understand everything I say. Mm -hmm. It's still confident. Mm -hmm. Am I confident I can speak primero <laughs> Espanol? Si, sí, poquito. <laughs> pero no full conversaciones. Mm -hmm. Es muy difícil para mí, pero estoy aprendiendo. Es uh, más fácil. Mm -hmm. uh, día... Mm -hmm. di Day by day, día, día tras día. Día tras día, mm -hmm. sí. Es poco mejorando. Yes. By practicing. Uh -huh. Because confidence isn't you're confident. It's how to talk to people, how to love yourself, how you feel about yourself. And just as you are confident you speak Spanish, you can be confident to be confident. Before the diagnosis, I, th I thought confidence is just like one thing, your habit or your not. Mm. Now I realize that, yeah, you can be confident in some areas and in others you mm -hmm. have to work on it. Exactly. But I'm confident in many areas. There's also other areas of my life that I'm like, mm. Mm -hmm. I can be shy. I can, but just then because I can be <laughs> shy doesn't mean that I am shy. Just like some people think, just because I'm not confident here, oh, I can't be confident. That's also not true. Again, I could choose to associate myself to being shy because I'm shy here. Mm -hmm. Or I can choose to associate myself to being confident, even though I've only got a few things to be confident about. See? Mm -hmm. Any questions? What should I do after this? Fest? Um, or normal life? Or normal life. Normal life? Yeah. I mean, immediately after, a, a lot of the time, in regards, so for confidence specifically, the best thing you can do is write, write down why you don't feel confident in certain areas of your life. Mm -hmm. Because, so this is a generalization for what? people would do after a session. This isn't normal, this is because of what we spoke about. Mm -hmm. I do this with myself. If there's something I'm not confident in, I ask myself good questions. Why am I not confident in this? And I've had it before. Why don't I feel confident um, in a new space? For example, coming to Mexico, when I first came here, I didn't feel very confident because I didn't know everywhere. But now I know everywhere, I feel very confident. Mm -hmm. I feel as if I know the area. So I feel more confident in myself. I can speak to more people. And what I noticed about myself is it's being familiar. Make sense? Mm, no. Familiar. Um, being familiar? So ah, when you are familiar uh, to a place, you see, become see. confident. See. So... For me, going to a new place, Mexico, knowing nothing, knowing no one, is testing my confidence. Mm -hmm. Because it's easy for someone, there you go, yawning is just letting go. <laughs> so he's stretching it out, getting rid of the smoking. <laughs> Don't need it anymore. Gone. Termina. <laughs> um, yeah, when I... I, te I test my confidence because it's easy to be happy when everything's perfect in your life. Yeah. When you've got a good relationship, you've got loads of money, you've got friends, you've got family. Very easy to be happy. Can you be happy when you've just lost a relationship? When you haven't got much money? When you, you don't have many friends? Because that's someone who's truly happy when they don't have anything to be happy for. They choose to they choose happiness. And 
just like someone who's not confident, myself included, before I was confident, there was nothing I could be confident for. But one memory always came to mind, and it was when I used to ride a motociclista. Motociclista? Mm. Motor? I even um, about that. Also. See? So when I, there was one memory where I felt very confident because I did good. I, I did a very, I, I, um, I came second in a race and I was very proud and happy and confident. Mm -hmm. So when I would think of that, I would feel confident. Just like I said to you, is there a time where you felt confident? Like NLP? Si, 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 exactamente. Um, that time, I re you can remember it. And towards the end, you noticed you went from this to this. Yes, I don't know why. It's the body doing it. Because someone who's unconfident, they're protecting their heart because they feel uh, scared and unsafe. Someone who's confident, they open their heart. They're open to new things. That's crazy. I just did I had to do it, but I didn't mm -hmm. know why. Also with the hand, mm. that was very strange that I felt someone else was touching me, not myself. <laughs> what did that feel like for you with the hand lifting? It's interesting, isn't it? Yes, a lot. And, and you notice how it's, it's like your hand, like you're not trying to move it, it moves itself. No, it's not, it was not my hand at this moment. It was not her hand. Final <laughs> last words. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Yeah. All right, grab a cigarette. Okay. Ooh. But I don't want to do it. No, I know you don't want to do it. I just want you to light it. I don't want you to smoke it. Because you don't want to smoke it. No. Okay. So just light it and just notice what happens too. Notice what happens already. I, I want to vomit. You want to what? Vomit. Vomit, okay. Yeah. There you go, that's a good sign. Like my throat's like closing. There you go. Right now. It's going to keep closing. Oh my God. I cannot do it. When you're ready. <laughs> Just lighting like this. Or with my mouth. No, like that. Like that. Yeah. I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, I wanna try it. Can I? Go for it. <laughs> If you want to. I can't! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! What you did? Put it out. Put it out if you don't want it. Out. <laughs> Last cigarette ever. <laughs> wow. Done. There you go. You can throw the rest of those in the bin. Fuck. What was that? No more. <laughs> Never smoking again. The power of hypnosis. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. That's, that's how we do it. Have you ever, ever seen that? I didn't expect it. The, not the way that you did it. Like, that was really interesting. It was, it was like the body was... Why, why, why can't I do this? It was like you were trying to speak a language that you already speak, and you're like, why can't I speak it? It's like, imagine you forgetting to speak Spanish. Yeah. It's like that. It's like, no, I never want to speak Spanish again because I had a bad experience with Spanish people or something like that. Now you've had a bad experience with cigarettes. This moment will now stick in your mind. So whenever you see a cigarette, it will be, I can't, I actually don't want to. Wow. And you noticed how when you smelt the smoke, it was, oh. That's crazy. It's my loco. You know, very interesting thing also, uh, this feeling of my throat, mm -hmm. like closed, I started having it last night. Yeah. And I knew it was something about the hypnosis. I didn't it's know what it means. The, the, body, it like the body is very, very smart. The subconscious knows more than our conscious. So we can think, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? The subconscious knows, I'm going to stop smoking. You came in saying, 
I'm going to stop smoking. So someone who comes in going, no, hypnosis won't work. I'm never going to, I'm going to keep smoking. I'm going to go, well, there's no point in us trying this mm -hmm. because yeah. you're going in with the wrong attitude. Yeah. You came to me saying, I want to stop. Will hypnosis help? And then you even said to me, I know this is going to help. So it, it, it works even better like that. Yeah. It's like someone going, oh, I'll never be able to speak Spanish. I'm just, I'm never going to try. Or, oh, I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to screw up. I'm going to... I'm still, I cannot believe what just happened. Hypnosis one, <laughs> smoking, zero. <laughs> Perfecto. Perfecto. <laughs>